Hi Aquarius, this is your general read. Um, please remember that it is general, so not everything can resonate for everyone. And that includes the cross watchers, who of course are always welcome. Okay, so Aquarius Collective, let's find out what's been going on for you. Take the one that flipped. <clears throat> Let's make sure there's okay. <coughs> and we have Goddess of the Moon. Okay, so Goddess of the Moon pertains to intuition and going within. This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upwards, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition. The ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get initiative in information on all types of issues. And now is the time to use it. The Goddess of the Moon. <clears throat> the Goddess of the Moon brings you all sorts of, of information. Excuse me. From the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three-hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment or a spellbinding novel. This card could also in indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. You're always blessed with this ability to connect. This card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready <clears throat> for the amazing inspiration that this brings. Okay, so um, with that card, it would appear that, um, well, Aquarius by nature, you're very deep thinkers anyway. Um, so it doesn't really come as much as a surprise to see that card there um, because you like to think long and hard about things you like to invent things in your head but you might not necessarily know how to uh, manifest what's in your head into reality um, and some of you not all of you some of you um, you felt this pull towards um, I want to say the occult, but I don't because I don't particularly like that word. Um, that's just me. Um, it's like you felt this pull towards some kind of spirituality, um, almost like you're being guided. Okay, so let's pull you some tarot and we will find out your current person or person of interest actions towards you Aquarius okay so your person's currently juggling please don't jump to any conclusions this could just be responsibilities it doesn't always mean juggling people their feelings towards you Something isn't equal. The challenge. Okay, saw a couple there. Um, right, if a message is supposed to come out, then it will. Um, so we'll see if that card jumps again. I don't know which one it was. Um, 
the challenge is a soulmate union okay that's interesting the action that your person is going to take towards you aquarius your person's going to use their initiative this is a highly initi highly intuitive person um this is a type of person that sees through other people like glass basically you, you can't hide anything from this person um they they pick up deceit so so quickly um it's like they're naturally just really intuitive so the actions that they're going to take towards you is they're going to be using their prior knowledge and they're going to be using their own intuition. The outcome is the outcome for Aquarius. You will be working on something together. You'll be working on this with your person together. Right. The overall energy is long term. That's good. Okay, so if you have a look at the card, there's a couple. It's um, there's an older person there as well. So it's generational and pets. This is home, family. Um, what you leave behind for the next generation. This is a completion. This is long term. <clears throat> okay, so two coins. The person's defending something. Okay, if your person has been distant from you recently. Um, they're defending they're defending their decision I'm getting they're defending their decision of not being around very often. Maybe this person, maybe your person has to work. Maybe your person has to go away to work and they're defending the reasons why. They're defending why they have to do so much. Feelings. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Your person's feelings towards you. Your person is very, very attracted to you. They, they think you... Um, see, these cards are not gender specific. See, normally we would describe the Queen of Wands as very beautiful. Um, your person is very attracted to you. Your person thinks that you're very stubborn. Um, your person feels that there needs to be equal, there needs to be equality within this union, okay? Your person feels that perhaps if they, they would be around more if there was more equality within this union. They would be around more if they didn't if they didn't have to do so much. Two cups. <laughs> that one wasn't sure if it wanted to come out. Uh, the challenge, someone. The challenge is keeping this union together because currently someone is feeling betrayed. Someone is feeling the card says it all, you know. This is the challenge.
this person feels betrayed because they have to take on so much. Because one, per one person is doing too much and it's affecting the union. That should challenge Aquarius. Actions. So your person is going to use their initiative and their prior experiences to bring forth happiness. Um, your person, I'm getting your person is feeling very conflicted, Aquarius. Very conflicted. Because they want this union to work. They want to be around but they have to do so much and they feel betrayed by that. Because your person is fighting to keep the happiness and the joy. Your person is wanting clarity the the sun um anything that was in the dark is going to be illuminated that's what your person's going to do they're going to maybe you weren't aware aquarius of how your person was feeling that your person was feeling this way so your person is going to shine light on that to save the union outcome okay. <clears throat> okay um for some of you not all of you. Again, I must stress this is a general read, so not everything is going to apply to everyone. And that includes cross watches as well. So if it isn't your message, then please just pass it on by. Okay. Um, for some of you, not all of you, if there is any kind of dabbling in magic, please don't. Just don't. All right. It's really not the repercussions of attempting something like that are very, very severe. Okay. Um, that's for some of you, not for all of you. The outcome, somebody understands the rule, the laws of the universe, as above, so below. The magician is the thought before the thought. It is very hard to explain. Um, I'm going to pull another card on that one. I'm hoping that that's not someone meddling around with things that they shouldn't be, because that is in the, it's in a very strange position for the magician to be in. Okay, it's making me a bit. I'm getting a really uncomfortable vibe off of that. That's why I felt it necessary to mention. That's for some of you, though, not all of you. Okay. Ah, the outcome: true love. Right. So Aquarius, the outcome, your person, either you or your person, this, this is air energy. 
This could easily be one or the other, but it is air energy. Somebody is going to do the right thing here, okay? You are going to manifest a brand new beginning together because you both love each other still, okay? You are going to work on this. You are, it's there, it's there, working together because there is still love. There's still love. And your overall energy for that deck is the chariot. Forward movement. Okay, so you could be dealing with cancer. You could be dealing with... Well, that's strange. There are not very many star signs on the table, Aquarius. There's not. There's air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, or Cancer. That's it. That's all I see. Right, let's try and... I'll pull you some romance angels. Find the guidance for Aquarius, please. Oh, <laughs> We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And that is fantastic advice for absolutely anyone. You do not ever want to be dragging your past energies into your new relationships. Okay? Because what you're dealing with at the moment, Aquarius, is a true love situation. Okay. If there is any baggage of the past, Aquarius, drop it. Drop it. Right now. Seriously. Don't drag it around with you. Release and heal the past. So if you've been dwelling on anything, you need to break out of that. Because your person needs you, Aquarius. Your person needs your support. Your person needs you to pick up some of the burdens. Or again, you can flip out the energy as well if you like. Um, flip it as it fits, but never force it to fit, please. If it isn't your message, somebody out there will have the message for you, okay? Immunology card. too soon oh dear oh dear right meditate and contemplate and nothing is yet set in stone so i'll just get you the book for those i'm really sorry i couldn't take the other 25 that fell out on the table i'd be here all night seriously i've got another six videos to go through yet i'm so sorry aquarius <laughs> I will do an extended video the next time round, okay? <laughs> mm. 
So meditate and contemplate. This card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connecting to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and if that's what you're expecting. However, if you're on a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all of that sounds a little bit wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. This is the last sign of the zodiac and the new moon in Pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. Face your fears, they may be holding you back. This situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine and avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. And nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, sorry about that Aquarius. I've been having some major struggles with my camera today. Um, keeps going off for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable is all about to, is all about change, shape shifting. That something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing, and there's room for manoeuvre. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalised. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvellous. It means that you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there is also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. I know that the best will unfold for me. You are meandering towards your goal <clears throat> and that's okay. <clears throat> Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure that you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? It's time to focus and stay with it, whatever it means to you. Okay, so Aquarius, you are in charge of your energy. You're in charge of what you allow in to your energy, okay? You're in charge. And for some of you, not all of you, you saw your guides are trying to make contact with you. That's specifically just for a handful of you, okay? So if you've been seeing any kind of <clears throat> synchronicities, that's your guides trying to make communication with you, okay? So pay attention. <laughs> For some, not all. Okay, best of luck Aquarius. Okay, bye.